something. Come on. It's a great time yeah. to worship the Lord. Father, we come in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I ask you, Lord, to continue to bless this congregation. Lord, as we come now and break the bread of life, we pray, God, for your presence. We know that you are already upon us. Let my, not my words hinder your words. Fathers, please speak to your children. Thank you for our praise team. Thank you for prevailing in their lungs. Thank you for anointing them. Father, I know things may arise, but you're far greater than problems. Thank you. We pray this in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. to be 
need the baggage instead of your destiny. See, I ain't never seen nobody pack a bag that don't go nowhere. Mm. Honey, if I got baggage, I'm about to go somewhere because God is going to take me to another level because no pain, no glory. Yeah. 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 Every time Satan in my life, I bleed. Now I know I'm about to bless, I'm about to come. Come on, come on. So if I got baggage, I'm packed up. I'm about to move forward. Right. People say, more I got so many problems. Good. You got problems because most of the time, that's when you start praying. Mm. And when you start praying, God start acting so good for your problems because your body gets you about to take you on the trip. Come on, come on, come on, man. Come on. Verse 6 and 7, they what came out their mouth. What I noticed out uh, of Peter and John's mouth, it wasn't slander. They they weren't on the poor bit talking about world events. They weren't talking about if the president did this, if the Congress did this. They, they were talking about Jesus. See, the sacred death is no place to bring a politics. Just because the preachers and, and the politics is two peas, I don't have no business telling y'all about politics. Come on, come on. Yeah. Are y'all hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Peter said, listen, I, I got something to tell you. I want you to focus on me. Note the text. The man was where many of us are today. This man was at a crossroad in his life. He was tired of being tired. Y'all right. ever been tired of being yeah. tired? Yeah. 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 Peter, Peter, Peter said, silver and gold I don't have. Yeah. But, yeah. but is an alternative word. Yeah. Yeah. You see, the depends on how you spin on that but is where you're going to come out at. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. what I do have, uh -huh. I give to you. Yeah. And then Peter extended his hand and offered him the opportunity to believe in the name of Jesus. And when you see believe in the name of Jesus, that's the entirety come on, come of Jesus on. Christ. Yeah. See, this is what Peter was saying. Peter said, if you believe in the name of Jesus, that's his death, burial, and resurrection. Yeah, all right, all right. And Peter said, I extend my hand out to you. And, and note the text. When the man extended his hand out to Peter, the man was made whole. All right, all right. Tell somebody, Jesus can make you whole. Jesus can make you whole. Today you may be broken, but you don't have to stay that way. If you want the joy of being whole, if you want the joy of being saved, begin turning from your ways and turn to God. This man came to the church and they laid him every day and he came there just to beg, but what he didn't realize is what he is about to hear. His life was about to change. At the beginning of this series, ladies and gentlemen, I told you at Pentecost, the Holy Spirit became indwelling. It, it, was, it, was, a, it was given to those who believed in Jesus Christ. And when you believe in Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit gives you power to do some work. Yes. In verse 8, the Bible tells us that after accepting Jesus Christ over his present life. Y'all see that? Oh, my God. Yeah. I, 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 see, as long as he was there begging, he was going to stay begging. As long as he stayed there and acted like he was crippled, yeah. he was going to be yeah. crippled. Yeah. But when he accepted Jesus Christ and he believed that God can do what he said he is going to do, the man became whole. Oh, amen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Oh, he didn't have to go to no rehab. He just went to Jesus. Yeah. 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 Come on. He didn't need no pills. He just went to Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Tell somebody, if you, are you ready? Are you ready? For Jesus to make you whole. Jesus to make you whole. And when you accept Jesus, something should change about you. That's right. And what I notice is this man, after he accepts Jesus, he's now in the church standing and praising on, God. He ain't laying down no hey, more. Hey. See, he's standing up. He's like standing upright. When you accept Jesus in your Christ, this ought to be the place you ought to come give yeah. God and praise. Yeah. You yeah. ought to come praising God. Yeah. Of life, but now he's enjoying life. Yeah. Oh, I got a footnote here. Yeah. Uh, if you know your blessing comes from God, 
the least you can do is praise God. I mean, that's the least I can do. Yeah, yeah. You see, you don't have to tell me to tell God. Thank you. Right. Yeah. you see, you don't have to tell me to raise yes. my hand. You, you don't have to tell me to get on my knees. You don't, you don't have to tell me to tie. You don't have to tell me to kill. You don't have to tell me to come to the house of God. You know, I don't care what holiday it was. I'm going to get up and pray. God, you don't have to tell me. Because I'm now the church. Yes. All right. Yes. And our text, look at verse 11. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Bible says the people ran to them. You see, the man's change was God's testimony. You so here it is. So let me ask you this question. Being that God has made you whole. All right. Should not testimony, shouldn't what God done for us be a testimony to God and not an embarrassment to God? Yes, Lord. Yes. 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 I mean, if God pulled you out of something. Come on. All right now. I mean, if God really delivered you. Yeah. 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 Have God delivered anybody here? Yeah. 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 If he really delivered you here, you ought to give him some kind of praise. Yeah. You see, if he delivered you. See, I've been down that road. Boy, the time you couldn't get me out of the nightclub. Every yeah. time you couldn't get me away from saved world. But now, I don't have nothing to do with that thing. Because I understand that he will try to draw you back in. But when I'm in the parameters of God, don't forsake the sin. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, sir. This brother said, I ain't going back out there begging no more. I'm, I'm going in the house of God. You know, salvation is a twofold. It, 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 it's, it's for God. It's a gift to us, but our salvation is to a glory for God. Yeah. You see, our praise is not a noise thing. We, we, praise has nothing to do with the level of noise. Our praise is the reflection of our worship. Yeah. You see, we were born yeah. to worship. Yeah. Let me break that down to you. If you ain't doing nothing with God, you ain't got nothing to praise God for. But when you're, when you're working for God and you understand what God does for you, yeah. then you have a praise in your mouth. Praise ye the Lord. Yes. 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 Praise. We see some, some people sitting there be, oh, hallelujah. <laughs> 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 and then you talk about people when they shout. Right. See, so you don't know what the hell God and bought them out of. All right. Because what they did, they didn't do what so many people today. 
You see, now, if there was some of these jokers around here today, when that man started walking, they'd have read their check back. I'm anointed. <laughs> Honey, let me tell you something. You ain't did nothing. Yeah, come on. Peter said, don't, 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 don't lick at me. Don't give me the check. Come on. God is the one who's done me. You see, I don't have to have a little jet to break my heart. anointed of God's children. Yeah. And see, let me go ahead and break that concept that Jesus says, I mean, the Bible says, touch not my anointed. Yeah. Yeah. He's not talking about the preacher. He said, don't do my prophet no harm. Now that's us. Yeah. But the anointing is his children. Yeah. So when somebody stop messing with you, yeah. they messing with your brother. Yeah. Hallelujah. They stop messing with Jesus. Yeah. And when Jesus said, when he get through with you, yeah. Yeah. All right. huh. Peter said, y'all the one killed him. Yeah. Peter said, don't give me all this credit. Uh, 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 Instead of, he found an opportune time to preach Jesus. Come on, come on. And any time there's an act of God, it's a perfect time yes. to preach Jesus. Yes. Uh, yes. Ephesians 2.10 says this. He said, we are his, y'all know what I'm saying, workmanship. Yes. Yes. Created for Creating Christ Jesus for good works. So you got to ask them, all these self-seeking jokers out here. All right. Who are they really working for? All right. Mm. 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 If you always got to be a knowledge for what you do for God, yeah. who are you working for? Yeah. 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 Amen. Are y'all here? Amen. I love it. Verse 15, Peter said, Israel, you chose a murder. Over the prince of life, who you made, who, who himself made known to you. But this man, mm -hmm. verse 16, yeah. this man who you threw out, this man who you said was no good, mm -hmm. this man who you said was broke down, yeah, yeah. this man who you say live in the projects, mm -hmm. this man who's driving a hoop there and you crying and you don't know, this man who you said ain't worth living knew a little. About Jesus. And he trusted him. Yeah. And so in verse 16, Peter said, The faith which comes through him, Jesus Christ, has given him the better, the perfect soundness in your presence. Peter said, The only reason why this man is getting his blessing and you ain't getting your blessing, because you forgot how to praise God. Come on, man. Come on, man. So that's why I tell you, don't talk to people about praising God. You praise God how you praise God. Yeah. If you want to jump up and down on cheers, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to touch, don't do a somersault, make sure you got pants on, not a dress, and go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> right here. You do what you do because you praise it, God, but for whatever you do, make it genuine. You see, God still don't want no foolishness. Yeah. And some of our prayers ain't reaching past the roof because we we pray amiss. Lord, give me all that I can. Lord, Lord, wait a minute. I thought I was God. All right, all right. You may not fully know who Jesus is, ladies and gentlemen, but if you're willing to accept Jesus Christ yeah. as your personal Savior. Mm -hmm. Through the work of the Holy Spirit, Jesus will reveal himself to you. And through that faith, you will have power to overcome. You hear people all the time, they think a big old snowball coming down the mountain. You think the worst thing that ever happened to them in their life, they always cry what they don't have. But if you open the inventory box, oh Lord, that foot you got on your foot, on your leg. Yeah. That, 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 that pair of pants you got on it, that, that food that's yeah. rubbing around in your stomach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're crying about what you don't have. Yeah. Yeah. You better get learn to give God praise just for what you do. Yeah. 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 Peter said, this little faith this man had in Christ healed him. Yeah. It wasn't us, it, it, it was the man named Jesus. Yes. You see, no one is worthless to Jesus Christ. All right now. 
And this is why when you start calling people racker and fool, you're judging yourself. God said, everything I made is good. So who are we to judge somebody else? All right. They walked past this man every Sunday and came in the temple and prayed. Something wrong with that theology. How can you walk past God's child, saved or unsaved, because we all God's children. Some of us just saved and going to heaven, some of us going to hell because we reject the order of God. And they walked past this man every day. And came in the temple with their self-righteous self and prayed. Lord, have mercy. Low verse 17. Peter told him, told them the first place to get this thing right. Mm -hmm. If this message is talking to you, the first place to get this right is to repent. And repentance is not being sorry for what you do. Repentance is turning from what you do. You see, I know there's some sorry people in the world. They're always saying, I'm sorry. But nothing changes. All right. They say the same old thing. I'm sorry every day. They go back and do it. Don't y'all get tired of people doing that? <laughs> Lord, I'm sorry. If you bring me out this, I, I won't do it no more. Yeah, yeah. How many of y'all been drunk before? That's what I believe. Tell the truth. <laughs> How to marry your one or something. <laughs> you better out there. <laughs> Someplace you ain't had no beard. You, you didn't have something yes, that you know that it took the Lord to bring you through. Yes, oh, yes. Yes, and you said, Lord, if you just do this for me one time, yes, I never, yes, never yes, do it again. Yes, well, let problems come in your life. You're back in here. Yes, Turn it back up. Yes, <laughs> Snort is stupid and whatever you do. Yes, and then you go back and lie again, Lord. I told you, Peter, you got to forgive him 70 times 7, so I got to be an example of this thing. God said, I ain't going to condemn you as long as you're trying to repent. But now and then, there's got to be a time God going to say, look, I'm tired of this. And he puts something in your life, and it hurts you so bad, you say, okay, Lord, I got it now, and then you stop. But why do we got to get to that point in life? Amen. God said, if you just have faith in me, I'll deliver you. Yes. What overcomes you? All right. God said, if you just have the faith of this little bag of Israel, Israel, you think you're doing something, but you threw me away. And this crippled man who you walk by every day had a mustard seed faith. And because he has a mustard seed faith, I'm going to grow him into a giant. This man leaped mm. for God. Yes. So Peter said, the first thing Israel is to repent. It's repentance is the renewing of the mind. It, 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 it's knowing that apart from Jesus Christ, you're nothing. It, it's, it, it's, it's accepting God at his word. It's, it's turning from what you want into what God wants. That, that's a repentance that has that. If you don't have repentance, you don't have faith. If you don't have faith, you have no repentance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Verse 19 says, repent and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Y'all see that? Yes. So a refreshing may come when from the presence of God. You see, Peter didn't say when God comes back, you will be refreshed. He said from the presence of God. You know, let me bring you out. It's like when a child, when a child they separate from their parent. They experience emotional pain, bitterness. They become scared, and often if that bitterness is not processed, they turn into self-destruction. Nobody loved me, so I'll just tear up something. Well, humanity was not created, ladies and gentlemen, to be separated from God. In the Garden of Eden, we, we fellowship with God every day. And so, as a child is going to be separated from his parents, if you're feeling tired and empty, it's time to stop living a convicted life. It's time 
to start living a godly life. And so when you start feeling empty, don't look at nobody else. Look inside. Look deep down inside. Find out what's indwelling in you. If you're not getting your blessing, stop and look in the mirror and say, Lord, what is it about me you are not agreeing with? I am not working on your timetable. God wants to bless you. But so many, uh, so many of us are in the dark. We don't understand how to see the light. We don't understand the danger that we are in in the dark cave and where we reside. Let me tell you a story. It was two hunters. They was up in the mountains and they was going somewhere and over a dark rainstorm came. And they started running and running trying to find shelter and they seen a crevice in a mountain where they can get out the rain and get some shelter. So they ran into this crevice. And it was real dark in there, but it was warm and it was cozy. So they fell asleep. Mm -hmm. And after a while, they woke up and they started gathering leaves, dry leaves, dry twigs, because it was getting cold. They was getting starting to shake a little bit. And so they said, let's build a fire. Yeah. And they finally got a light and they lit that fire. And one of the men looked up and seen a six foot black snake about to launch and attack them. And they ran out of that mountain thanking God for not being bit. All right. yeah. All right. See, a lot of us, we don't have the light, so you don't know how close to danger you really are. All right. All right. All right. You're avoiding God because you're stuck in a crevice called sin. You need to open up the light and let God in your heart. Let God in your life so he can shine some light on hey, the danger. Hey. Some of us about to bust yeah. hell wide over no even red light. It's stuck in a dark place. You know what? But God wants you to do this. God wants to restore this covenant that he made to us in verse 25. Look at verse 25. Peter said, you are sons of, of the prophets and of the covenant which God made for our father saying to Abraham. And in your seed, how many families? Oh. All the families on earth shall be blessed. Now I know some Bible scholars say, okay, that's Israel coming, and that's true. But after God's purpose for Israel was to bless the world through Israel, but when Israel rejected Christ, uh -huh, uh -huh. it opened doors yeah. to Gentiles. Yeah. See, I'm not with this black movement that we black Jews. Hey, I know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a digger. I ain't never been to Africa. I ain't never. I, I've been to God's born again right now. Are you here? Amen. I am who I am. Amen. But listen to Ephesians 2.13. You who are once afar off, have been bought near by the blood of Christ. Uh -huh. Thank you, Israel. Come on, come on. Thank you, Israel, for being so hard here. Yeah, yeah. Because now I got your blessing. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. I got the inheritance of Abraham. Okay. I got the inheritance. See, it's personal to me, so you can say it too. Yeah. I got that inheritance. All right. All right. That I'm going to be blessed. Yes, sir. That I am blessed. Yes, sir. And then, how do you do this? Ephesians 2.14 says, Jesus has made Jews and Gentiles one by breaking down the middle wall of separation. Now, there's no more Jew or Gentile. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. If you will believe in Jesus Christ, you are blessed yes. by the promise of Abraham. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And verse 14, if you feel a void in your heart, verse 14 also says, Jesus is the peace that you're looking for. Yes. So many people are missing peace in their life. Yes. They can't relax because they're still trying to control their life. Anytime you control your life, you are you're on autopilot, and God don't have autopilot creations. Mm -hmm. All right. he, he let them go to Satan and call it a reprobated mind. Yes. I am here. But let me go ahead and close with you today. Today, if you're not saved, your blessings are passing you by. You're in darkness and you're in need 
of the light of God. Who is Jesus Christ. And many people say, man, I'm just doing fine. But so was the man outside the church. He was doing fine every day bagging. As he thought he was. Yeah, yeah. Until he tried Jesus. When I was in Haiti, it was the kids playing jacks. And some of the female missionaries were sitting down and they was teaching little girls how to play jack of rocks. They had big rocks and little rocks. And they had to throw the big rock up and grab a little rock like you do jacks. And I walked upon a walked upon and I looked at it and I cried. And the missionary, one of the female missionaries, the old lady got up and grabbed me. She said, Dear, why are you crying? Why are you crying over them? I said, it's so sad that they don't have checks. Mm -hmm. Something so simple. And she said, they didn't know they didn't have checks mm -hmm. mm -hmm. until you start crying. All right, all right. Because if you don't have, you don't know it's better. Right. <laughs> And too many people are settling. Too many Christians are settling because you think you're fine. But God got so much more for you. And he said, stop hanging a line around the church and come into the church with Jesus Christ. Stop just being, coming to church and being a pew sitter when you can be in the body of Christ. You're not fine just coming here doing nothing. You're not fine just getting up on a routine just to come to church because it's something you've done all your life. That's not fine. That's going through an emotion. But when this man, Lord have mercy, when Peter extended his arms out and offered him Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. That man heard a message changed his life forever. Yes, yes. He's not a born again baptized believer. Yes. Filled yes. with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. And people want to know how did he leap up so quickly? Because he got power yes. from the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yep. See, I'm a believer in God. <laughs> I'm a believer in the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Why? Because I've seen him for myself. Yes. I've seen him take somebody who was drinking a fifth a day and just stop. Yes. Smoking a pack of half a cigarette a day and just stop. I know the power of the Holy Spirit yes. because he indwelled in me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I know the power. I know the power when I was working at a gas station on Shad and Phillips and that lady's son got ran over by a car. Being a new saint, didn't really know what I was doing. I knew I was supposed to go visit somebody, so I went to go visit her. But when I laid my hands on that child and prayed, the next day she said, my son talked right after you left and he ain't talked in two weeks. I know the power of God. Yeah. Yeah. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I believe in it. Yes, sir. This man believed in the totality of Jesus Christ. He believed that God can heal him. So when he grabbed on Peter's hand, he really grabbed hold to the word of God. Yeah. And he grabbed hold to the word of God. The word of God made him whole. And through the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit, the Bible said a man yes. leaped him. Amen. Yes, sir. And Peter said, don't give me no credit. Because yes, right you won't put me between my God. <laughs> give God all the credit. Yes. That's why I don't let y'all lift me up. Because I love you all. And if you lift me up, you can tell me that. Amen. But when God lifts me up, Ain't no man tell me that. Ain't no wrong, baby.
give all that stuff. I like that. <laughs> but when we accept Jesus as our personal Savior, He shines the light into our darkness. Everyone standing. You may be saved or not saved. If you say anything, but you're not connected to a local church, you're missing the joy of establishing your roots somewhere you can call home. It's sad when I visit a patient, I go into a room and I look on their profile, they say they're Christians. But then I say, who can I call for you? No one. What church you belong to? Well, I haven't been to church in a while. How are you a Christian if you don't have a church? Every baptized believer needs to have to be under a pastor, a teacher. Because the Bible says, how can I learn without a teacher? You have to be. So if you're not a connected to a local church, you're missing out on the connection of like-minded people. You're missing a chance to engage with the soundness of God's mind through his people. Today, we extend our hands out to you right now for both of you. You to have a new relationship with Jesus Christ and a new fellowship with believers. If you're not saved and you want the power of God, you want to be saved, come. If you know you're not saved, come join the body of Christ right now. If you are unconnected to a local church, you are not an active member, come. Be part of this ministry. The door of the church is open. Let us pray with you.